Hello, I'm Donna Coxon. I'm a solution architect with Zero to Ten, and today I'm going to talk to you about our Storage Manager solution. So, what is Storage Manager? The Zero to Ten Storage Manager solution is a standalone Windows application that runs on a Windows based system. The application connects to Microsoft Dynamics CRM and it searches for all the file attachments associated with your email records and note records. Those attachments are then transferred to Microsoft SharePoint and a direct link to the file is left behind in its place. The link is a URL that's named the same as the original file. Every file that's processed is checked for duplicates in the existing system by using a checksum value and if a duplicate file is found, the link to the existing file is used. So this avoids having multiple copies of the same file taking up space in SharePoint. So why use Storage Manager? Well out of the box, file attachments are stored directly in the CRM database against the appropriate record. And Microsoft charge for storage and they charge at about $15 per gig of data that's stored within the CRM database. Every file attachment that you store is stored separately as a single document and there's no intelligence around how those files are stored. So if you sent an email blast to a thousand customers with a one megabyte attachment, CRM would store a thousand copies of that attachment and it would cost you one gig of storage. In contrast, the zero to 10 storage manager solution transfers those files to SharePoint. So they're no longer stored in the CRM database, they're stored in Microsoft SharePoint. This gives you lower cost and also in SharePoint, you have the ability to search your files. So you can search for text within attachments, which is not something you can do with the out of the box CRM functionality. And Storage Manager also uses intelligent storage. So files are only stored once, there's no duplication. And that saves storage space and redundancy of data. So now I'm going to demonstrate the 0 to 10 Storage Manager solution. I'll show the out of the box attachment functionality and then I'll show how attachments are stored with Storage Manager and how attachment links are replaced by a URL to the file. I'll show you where attachments reside in SharePoint and I'll also show you how you can search for text within an attachment. So within Dynamics CRM I'm looking at a contact called Thomas Anderson and I can see in the activities in the centre of the screen all of the activities that have happened against this contact including a number of emails that have been sent to him and if we go and look at this first email I can see the text that was sent within the email and I can also see the file that was attached to the email and that file is stored in the CRM database and I can click on the link and open the attachment to see the document. If I go back and look at my list of emails that I've sent today, you can see that I've done a mass email blast regarding business card scanning and CRM. So that email has gone to 34 different people within my CRM database and that email contained an attachment which has been stored in CRM 34 times. Now obviously storing these attachments 34 times in my dynamic CRM database is completely inefficient use of my storage space um, and it's going to start costing me money if I'm creating some large email blasts and storing lots of documents in CRM. The storage manager solution comprises of an executable file that connects to dynamic CRM and searches for all file attachments. This executable uses a checksum value to check for duplicate files. So just to explain that a bit further, when a file is created, a checksum value is created that represents the number of bits of data within that file. So if I then create a duplicate file, it will have the same checksum value as the first file. The 0 to 10 storage manager solution locates all of those recurring checksum values and then it deletes all but one instances of that file. That remaining instance is then posted to SharePoint and a URL is created to replace the document link in the CRM record. So now that the executable is run, if I go and look at one of my sent emails, I can see that I still have the attachment, but it's been appended with .url. So this is now a URL link to the single copy of that document. And when I click on that URL, I can see the location of that file on my SharePoint site. So now if we go and look, here I can see the location and there's my PDF document, a single copy that has been posted to SharePoint by the Storage Manager solution. So the great thing about 
storing your documents on a SharePoint site rather than storing them in the CRM database is they then become searchable. So you can actually use SharePoint to search for text within any documents that you've saved. So if I just return to my home page on SharePoint, if I wanted to search for a keyword within a document that exists somewhere on my SharePoint site, I can go up to my search bar on the top right hand side and type in the word that I want to search for. So if I now search for the word scanner, SharePoint will search all of my documents and all of the text within those documents and find any matches. And immediately I can see that it's found our document which has been uploaded to SharePoint by the Solution Manager application. So in this demonstration we saw the out-of-the-box functionality around attachments in Dynamic CRM. We saw that when you send an email blast containing an attachment, that attachment will be stored separately against every contact or customer that it got sent to. Um, so you'll have duplicate attachments taking up lots of space within your CRM database. We saw that with the 0 to 10 storage manager solution, there's an executable that will run that will scan our CRM system for all of our files and it will identify any duplicates using a checksum value. It will delete all of the duplicates and take just one instance of the file and save it in our SharePoint site. And then against each of those CRM records it will create a URL redirecting us to that document on the SharePoint site. We've had a look at the SharePoint site and seen where the documents reside and we've also seen the SharePoint functionality that enables us to search our documents. So if you're interested in the Storage Manager solution and would like more information then please do take a look at the 0 to 10 website where you can see our portfolio of solutions around CRM productivity. Alternatively you can reach out to your account director or reach out to us via the contact us page on our website and we'll be delighted to help you on your CRM journey. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video.